good as we were in the first uh, 18 minutes of the first half. That's uh, we were as equally as bad in the second half. Um, we did uh, couldn't make a basket or couldn't make a really bright play during that time. We just somehow uh, showed, did a lot again what we did in the uh, in the North Carolina game and the LSU game. When things got a little tough, um, we really had trouble stepping up. So it's a big area we got to work at. We got to somehow uh, get them to understand the importance of. Um, at that time that people do embrace that part of the game and get it done, but also other times in the game when there's simple plays to be made, we make them. And uh, those are big, big changing moments for the game. So uh, disappointed for our team, disappointed at some of our players who are better than they played in that second half. Questions for Coach, please. Anyone? John, in the, in the flow of the offense, what do you think is the biggest issue right now on the ball is whatever you want to say, sticking or, or whatever, it's just not, not getting the, the looks that you're getting. Well, here's what happened in the second half. They switched every ball screen. That, that When Wesson was in there, they blew, they hedged, but they switched every ball screen the whole second half, and we hadn't seen that yet this year. And that, that spooked us, and uh, we didn't execute very well against it at all. And so that that's, we really were not efficient in the second half because there was that we didn't execute. We really didn't execute. In the second half. First half was a clinic, wasn't it? Clinic was good, but they didn't switch a ball screen the whole first half. When they switched in the second half, right, Wesson they didn't. But they, when they just went to that, we put our head down and tried to make some plays. And then when we had plays, when we had layups, we missed them. Ethan? With a 13 point cushion going into halftime to, to blow that lead, is there a sense of complacency or is it a failure in the game plan? No, there wasn't any complacency. No, they, they came at us, and we did not respond, really. No, we weren't doing that. Because it really started in the second half, big five-point play in the second half. Uh, and that, 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 that started the momentum going. I think it was 11 nothing run they made when we were up by a lot. But 13, I, I was actually told, my, I'm glad we aren't up by 20 at half. Because we're not, we're not ready. If they make a run, there's got to be a, they just made a run. Now we understand, we'll go out there with some purpose. But the first play of the second half, we threw just a terrible pass to start it. And I said, okay, that's, that's not, we're not going to win playing this way. When it's a closer contest with just a few minutes remaining, is there someone in particular you're looking for to step up? I, try, I called every number I could call, and it didn't happen. Right? It didn't happen. Our freshman and sophomore made some, made some baskets. And, but there weren't many in the second half, were there? There were only a couple baskets we made. Zach? Uh, it seemed like your point guards, they all had at least some positive moments. I guess, what did you think of each of their games? And then yeah, what led I, Xavier to be the second half guy? Down yeah, cause we, because we couldn't stop them defensively. He's, frankly, he's, he's better than the other two defensively. And I thought he could just run our offense and we'd, we'd get some production from our other guys. So, uh, But we couldn't stop them. And it wasn't necessarily his man. But we, uh, again, we couldn't, we couldn't score and we couldn't stop them. And this is, this is something that it's going to be a journey all year for us until we, until we grow our young kids, right? And, and our veterans embrace their new roles as being the guys, right? Being, the, being a guy that's got to make a shot, it's got to make a play at a certain time. What concerned you about Ohio State coming in? They got a short turnaround and not a lot of chance to do prep work. But when you start well, with the exception of the big guy, they got a lot that, you know, like you said, if Kata Bates, right? Right. He's a. They would. They would. Not, they probably would have been an NCAA tournament team last year if he doesn't hurt. Just like when we lost Karis Levert. You know, it just happens to teams. So he's really a special player. He's probably. He's probably going to be a first team All League performer, right? Wesson's like a young, young Sutherland. Jay Sean Tate. I mean, they beat us last year, right? Yeah. We we got we got a few players missing from last year, and uh, they got a few players back with Kate uh, Bates now, and that's they're good. They're good. They, who, who's gone? Who, you guys have been in the Big Ten. Who's gone to Wisconsin win like that, right? But it, we could have had this win today. We just did not play well in the second half. Coach, did you see some of the mental, emotional, I guess, faults that you saw in the North Carolina game at times, or was it more just absolutely? Hey, absolutely. We just have to continue to toughen up. Get some. What does Jim Harbaugh say? Get some steel in our spine when things are tough, and uh, you know not. Not necessarily look for the coach to the answer. We got coaches got to do those. You got to make those type of plays when 
I think when, when we get something, good, we didn't make any of those plays, and that's my job to make us get better in that. Right. So it's not about the 13 point lead. It's not about all that stuff. It's about whether we got back ahead. Right. We got back ahead by didn't we get up by four? Did we get back by four? We don't get a stop, um, and then we didn't make any shots after that. I don't think. Gentlemen, there's been defensive issues in the past. It's sometimes you point at the tactical things. Other times it's been just playing harder, playing better defense. Yeah. What was it in the second half? They, you know, they started out just really driving the ball hard at us. I mean, Tate, Joff, they're pretty good players. And they just beat their one-on-one -on -one matchups on a few occasions. Got just enough uh, putbacks uh, to make a difference. We didn't have a lot of execution mistakes on defense. They made some tough shots. And, uh, you know, maybe we're tired. They've been playing the same amount of games as us. But we just did not, couldn't get the stops that we needed to get in the second half. But if we, like you said, when we held in the first half there when they scored 30 points, I mean, it's the other part that we scored 19 points in the second half. How many times have you scored, seen us score 38 points in a game? And we were, at, we, we were on a 38 schedule there. So it's, uh, we, held, we held them to 71 points. That's not like awful defense. What it is was bad offense, bad, just bad in the second half. Frustrating, Frust very frustrating. Anything else? No, leaving We, we see it with shooters. We see it a lot. You know, we see it. They'll go in. They'll go out. Probably legs are tired from from ten games and was it twenty four days? Yep. Ten games in twenty four days. Prob probably probably <coughs> that. They'll be back out there shooting again. And actually, kind of same question for Charles. Yeah, just the, he's, he's never never been in these situations, right? Uh, road game, right? Coming back, right? He's doing some things. He's he's trying to be a physical player. When he's as quick as athletic as anybody, but he's trying to play like I would play, right? With body on and euro stepping and tricking people when he's so quick. We gotta just keep working on him, right? To get him to get to the basket quickly and shoot it when he's open and pass it when he's not. Trying to do trying to do too much. Okay, coach, I think All right, thank you. Thank you.